Azraf. She's Griffin Rose. Oh. Azraf. And see, I don't know enough about. I, I wish I could help. Was oh, did um, both fillies, both folds are fillies by K. Rouge. I can go get them. And um, I can. And there's the mother to bees on the other side is a Sanseray filly uh, that's been bred to Rouge and is due in June. And uh, what, what's her mare line then? Her mother is Rosalie, who was. This is the Rosalie bay mare here. Was out of this mare here, this white mare, as Raph, and we had bred her to a leaf, a Jim Brown hand. Griffin uh, Rose is the. Probably 79. Got that filly out of that, and that's out of her. So we were, okay. we bred her also to Rouge. Then the, the littlest filly is a Rouge filly. Yes, they both are Rouge, uh-huh. And uh, the mother is out of The year uh, Azraf died. Okay. So we bought her in. She's uh, one of the younger Azrafs then. Uh-huh. She was two when he died, so. And I can't remember. I think she was born in 76. Whatever year. We travel well together that way, though. <laughs> that's good. That, that. She's a real cute, friendly little filly. She'll probably come over. Uh, the, the white mare is bossy. She, she kind of tells everybody where to walk and where to. This is a Sanseray. Seven-year-old. My Sanseray, and I can't, th I guess that was her name, and I, I can't. Uh, what, what's the mare line? Her her mare her her uh, dam was daughter. out of uh, Aphrodite, which we had leased from Dr. Martin, which was a uh, Azzy daughter. I believe that's right. Mr. Dean would know better. I'm lucky to know my kids. Oh, <laughs> Such a personable stud. I mean, this guy is, he'll do anything you tell him to. You tell him to wait, he waits. You tell him to do this. That's just, wonderful. Um, we bred a mare last year after uh, his stroke or whatever he had, you know, and he was just exhausted. And he just slipped down off his mare. And our friend who was helping us, my God, he said, I come here to help you, <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and we said, no, he's not. Just take the mare out of this little breeding station we had. And he'll wait for you to, to, to flip him over. Because That's a real upright filly. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's, and, and then, you know, she's got a lot of filling out to do. Of course, oh. she's only, like I say, like 10 days old. So. Yeah. I could stand in this pasture forever <laughs> and just look around. This mother here has a filly out of Rouge out in this back field. Okay, I'll be back to her in just a minute after I get you. Oh, you're taking pictures <laughs> of the tree. <laughs> well, I, I enjoy everything. <laughs> this is my forestry product, project oh, that kind they're of. They're so lush. Somebody who's out to destruct the fence. Oh. But she's got ticks. I mean, yeah, I noticed you. Good on pasture still. Did you? Uh huh. Yeah. Talk, but she scratches. Are you going to say, Gabriel? Real out. Real out. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. Out <laughs> in New Jersey. I lived together. This is a real story. <laughs> I had, had, had horses, and the town grew out around them. Made them get rid of all their horses, but they'd been there so long, and they took it to court, and uh, they proved that they had eminent domain, and uh, they let them keep one horse, but it was subject to not having any flies or any odor or anything people could complain about, and they had this closed-in backyard. They had a little barn, and they had kept this one old stallion. And they had a, a line put in the barn and went to the sewer. And this old horse, when they would go to work in the morning, uh, they would take a bucket and set it under him and say, come on now, come on. And the old horse would, 
pee in the bucket. They put it down the drain, and then at noon they'd come back for lunch and they'd take your bucket and say, "Come on, come on, let's go out." And the old boy, horse would fill the bucket, and then a lot of the people going and coming knew about this horse, and then they had a, a New Jersey Association meeting there, and everybody come horse take that bucket out to see this old horse go through his paces. That old horse got to the point where he'd just stand there and he'd just strain and strain. And they would tell him. It reminded me when he put their hand under there. Come on, come on. When he's inside, he talks real loud. He goes, oh, woo! It? Like that. Oh, I guess he's embarrassed. Are you embarrassed? Yeah, he's embarrassed. Well, these aren't my bestest of shoes, so as long as I don't back into the water hole, why? Okay, jo Joy, how old is he now? Twenty-five. He's twenty-five. 25 uh, June. I don't. He's born in June, I believe. So. Okay. Last year he was in terrible health, and they had to help him up and down, and he has improved tremendously. And that doesn't mean no. The, the kissing is not that doesn't mean come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You know, at this age, we should just be doing his face anyway, so. Well, he, he, he can really flatten his little back out. Look at the sky. What is that talk? There. Oh, perfect. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Get up, and then when he first got up the first time by himself, you know, I plotted, oh, yeah. plotted, oh, <laughs> did all oh, these things. To... <laughs> <laughs> well, they do respond to that, you know. I mean, they they know, uh, and but I think it helps them. He would get so at first when he when he get down because he always rolls when he goes out. <laughs> Starting to. Well, I'm afraid Jimmy does think we are a little bit. <laughs> The other day I had two young colts alongside of him, little uh, yearlings, and they were running, and he started to run. Oh, and I God. thought, I can't believe this. You know, he gave this little hippity hop and he went all the way down the whole length, and that's the first time he's done any attempt on on running. I have to kind of watch the boys I'm putting next to, you know. He, and mm -hmm. I'm surprised that he tolerates this two-year-old. Uh, I think because they've always been side by side. and. Uh, he has others that he doesn't care for at all. Jimmy, I have a, a movie of of Dan, Daniel Seagany with him when after Dan had had his stroke. And I haven't been, I was telling Joy, I, I need to find it because I got some really good shots of the two of them together. And I just. On the barn and when, oh, we were twice as far as we are now. And Mom went, came away from the lane and the rest of them started walking towards us. She was 
smiling. Stan looked up and said, Why, Mama? And I couldn't believe it. Uh, uh, just that's a the, little. That's the first time he'd ever recognized that person. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he didn't even know where they landed. Oh. What's this woman doing here? Oh, the first tourist, the, uh, uh, the, the lighter of the, the bunch, that is a gay rouge. This uh, mare that turned. She's not a gay rouge, that's silhouette. Okay. The one that's got a little bit more gray to her, she is a, a gay parada. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, she's lovely. The, the darker of the mares up here, they're just going by the fence. Okay, this with her tail to us. Her mother is the gray Azra. mayor, Azra, that is the Azra. Daughter. Daughter. Her baby is the one that's expecting a rouge baby. And oh, they okay. The field. That's the one that you pushed off the fence. Yeah. Or uh, one of you all pushed off the fence. Okay. That's her, her daughter. Okay. There's three that are together up there. There's the yearlings. There's a chest. Two, two rouge fillies. The ones that got the white on them are out of rouge. One of them that has the most white is out of the one that you've seen up here in the field, that little tiny black okay. baby. Okay. This is her rouge baby from last year. Okay. The other small one that's got just like a little, little, little bit of white on mm -hmm. his forehead, that's out of rouge, and her mother is this dark. Okay, she's still up by the fence. Okay. And then the, the chestnut is out of a rouge mare in Sonsoret. Okay. She's real, she's real oh, nice. pretty, pretty face on her from what I can see. Okay, well, I can do a nice shot well, of them. Can you just... The, the first gray one out there is a rouge, she would be a two-year-old rouge filly out of a, um, let's see... Azzy. She was out of a, a, a Sansere mother. The lighter gray one, the one that's closer to you, that's a filly out of Sansere and this darker bay mother out here, Rosalie. Okay. Uh, the chestnut that's up out there is out of Sansere and the Azraf mother. She's got that same bill that you're referring to mm -hmm. as the baby up there. And then there is a bay that's up there. It's out of Sansere and a, uh, a Gay Rouge mother. Okay. And those are, I guess we've got uh, a two-year-old, two three-year-olds, and a four-year-old. Okay. And I guess they were told to stay up on the hill. Yeah. <laughs> well. And a, uh, a small rouge mare that we've got. She's just, she's just, I, I don't usually go to chestnuts, but she's a pretty little thing. She is, she's real, they might come up here, because I usually don't feed them. Okay. Is that? Well, they'll, they'll go. I'll get this their is heads. Out of, this, the chestnut is out of the Rouge Mare in Sansere. Mm -hmm. Now, can I put the face on? Yes. And then these two are out of Rouge. I know, the one with the strip is out of the out full, of, or out of the, the mare that's got the littlest baby. Correct, and the other one is out of this darker, she's after a little bit. Okay, now what's the darker mare's name up there? You're biting on me, Philly. Uh, Rosalite. Rosalite? Uh-huh. Okay. She was out of the Azraf mother. Okay. And Elite, who Jim Brown had. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, oh, I, I didn't want her to bite the oh, cat. Oh, that's what she's after. Yeah. What are the gray mare's names, then? I mean, actual names. <laughs> um, I got their breeding down, but... Okay, guys. Shenanigan is the, the dark one, of the two. Okay. And that was the one that was out of Gate Crawl. Uh-huh. See, I don't know anything, but I don't know the bloodlines. The other one is called Silhouette, and she is a rouge. Oh, that's Silhouette. Okay, okay guys. I don't know. Maybe that's true. Who was the mayor we had that, that we had the mother, uh, we had the mother silhouette? Do you, do you recall? Hmm? Do you recall the, the mother of, of silhouette? I think we had her here. Oh. Uh, uh, And that's Faye Silka? Faye Silka, that's it, yeah. yeah. Faison and Silky. Uh, that, right? She's going to get hold of it. Well, I, I'm more worried about my body here. They keep 
Yeah, this is this is a lovely mare. Uh -huh. She certainly is. She's been a really a good show mare for us. She's been in the showing a lot. Her and this darker mare. Well, what was her name again? Just um, for a record. Sansalita. Sans. Oh. Okay. Her mother being the dark, the darker bay out here yeah. in Sansare. Okay. Well, and last she, last. Uh, well, who's the gray so there? I missed that one. The what? Oh, that's a gelding. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, and he just came up. And a Sansare and a rouge uh, mother. Okay. That kind of surprised us, some of these. You got such nice dispositions. Just like, you know. mm -hmm. Well, when they're pretty to look at and enjoy to be around, why, I can beat that. Mm -hmm. It's right up there. Oh, he doesn't listen to the insults. Oh, no, no. He's, he's just, he says, well, you know, everybody likes me. I don't yeah. know why you don't. And he's just, you know. I can bring him out if you'd like to. Would you? you want oh, oh there's no sense in getting Rouge all oh, upset. No, 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 it's just when you pass by. He oh. just says, keep him in his, you know. Okay, this is a Sans Ray Colt out of the Azraf, the gray Azraf daughter that was first on the tape. And he's three? Three. Up the hill? Yeah, there you go. Pop up there. He is a quiet cold. I mean, lovely neck. Gee. We uh, had him with the trainer for uh, driving last year, and we're just starting to break him this year. He's, he, I'll tell you, he's just going to, I think he's got a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. a nice lady horse. Hmm. Well, you showed uh, our uh, oh. last uh, oh. summer, you, you uh, down there at Lexington, you guys had a really dark gray, yeah, he's up in Ohio. He's a two-year-old now. Yeah. And he's up. He's out of. Yeah. He's out of this dark. Yeah. He's out of this this dark bay mare and Sansare, and he's up with Dan Witt up at Troy Gate, and we took him up there like maybe a month and a half ago or so, and I think they measured him. He was 15, one or 15. As a two-year-old, so he's. Ah, 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 ah. Oh wow! What is what's this guy's name? Uh, I don't know. You're just. I call him Tut. Yeah. I him okay. King Tut because he was such a pompous little thing. <laughs> I don't know. Was up here and just get to Papa just a little bit. Yeah. That's Indiana. Where there's a bluish Okay, now how many it. miles away would that be? Oh, gee, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, it's a lot of miles. No, no, not really. Isn't it? See, the river makes a bend. Oh, and, okay. And uh, we're talking about you getting down to like Big Bone Park. Okay. And then on the other side is your Indiana, you know. So okay. you're, you're not talking they, about too terribly far. They raise purebred pole Herefords and have about 200 acres here. I'm just. Yeah, well, let us know when they're ready and okay. you're here. <laughs> and, and, and the spoon. Oh my. See through the laundry. The cow. Yeah, the cow. Yeah. <laughs> there's the cows. There's some cows down there. There's often leave those uh, just enough for one, one berry on each place there. Uh, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And then your plants and your production next year will be better. 
Yeah, but we got our spoon in our... Yeah. <laughs> I might not be here next year. <laughs> I should chase you got <laughs> This is Joy's strawberry bed that we're waiting, we're waiting for. This is Myman's pond and out where they have their cattle.